Morning, uh, back on the garage. Uh, we had a squirrel feeder casualty this week. Squirrels were eating on the feeder and the dog scared them and they managed to knock the feeder down and break it. So my wife asked me to make a new squirrel feeder. So I drew something up in Inkscape and uh, I'll, we'll cut it out and we'll uh, fold it up and weld it and see how it comes out. So metal and uh, mason jars and see how they mix and see what we come up with. But uh, let's get to cutting. Okay, everybody's always interested in the settings, so um, there's a drawing I did. Uh, I did it in sheet cam or Inkscape and then sheet cam. And here's the settings that I'm gonna run with. And it'll be 30 amps on the plasma cutter, the prime will cut 60. So there you go. Let's get cutting. Cut out about as clean as you could hope. Um, you see the bend lines there. Uh, that's a squirrel figure that I've used before. Uh, I had it, so I used it. I don't remember where I, where I got it. It was a free image, clip clip art type thing. And the question is, can I thread a mason jar into that? I think I will be able to, but I probably have to do a little bending with the pliers first, but let's see. Reconfigured the garage a little bit, got my portable welding table out, but uh, the cutout worked just uh, as I'd hoped, with the exception of this hole's cut exactly to the measurement. I mean, I use calipers to measure this jar here, but it's just a little tight. I think even if I clean it up, it'll be tight. So what I plan to do is uh, grind it out to fit this and uh, get the threads working and then I'll take some measurements on the shape that I end up with or the size of hole I end up with and I'll update my drawing in case I ever decide to make another one of these. But this should work. I'll get it cleaned up and uh, I'll get the whole size to fit the jar properly and then uh, we'll put it together. All right, the next thing that's a problem is, like I said, this doesn't fit in here. So, I'll work on that.
Okay, so, so the carbide bird did the trick. This fits in. So now I need to <clears throat> bend it a hair where I made that little cut out. And I'll use pliers to bend that so we can get it to thread in. Hopefully. It's pretty close. But glass isn't forgiving. So let me bend the metal a little bit. Maybe instead of pliers I'll use a crescent shaping tool. So it's going to screw in from this side. So this side needs to go down. I'm sure that's riveting picture of my back. very well. So if y'all haven't guessed by now, I'm not a great videographer. And I managed to stand in front of my work and get in the way so you couldn't see it. But what I did do, and I still have a little bit more to do, is Bent this a little bit to create threads. It doesn't have to go all the way around, but where the threads start, it needs to have some separation. So you can't do this with a CNC nothing. It's some manual work. I can get the whole measurements better. So it can just be cut, and I plan to do that, but there we go, thread it on. I might have to put a, maybe a cardboard gasket or something to get a tighter fit on that, but I think that'll work. All right, so now we've got our Threads worked out. I mean, that was ugly, but I'll get it measured and we'll get it to cut. I'll, I'll update my drawing in case I make another one. But next step is to bend this. And it turns out my vise is too small, but I don't have a metal break. So I'm hoping that these cuts will help me out. And it looks like they are. So if I do this right, look kind of like the squirrel in the background's got his head in the jar. At least that's the intention. So the jar will squirt, will screw on there. All I gotta do is a little welding. Screw the jar on and Weld her up, weld it up, paint it, screw it onto the fence, screw the jar in, and add the food. I think that'll work pretty good. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> now's the time to weld it up. I put a 90 degree magnet in there to help hold it square. It's bent right, but that just kind of gives me a reference for what's truly 90 degrees and I'm going to tack that down then I can remove the magnet and we'll weld up the seams but first step is to tack that thing in place that should work
I can get my magnet out. Then I'm going to weld inside here. Keep the squirrels happy. All right, so clean this guy up a little bit. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> okay, the paint's dry. Um, squirrel feeder. Narrow mouth uh, mason jar, some 16 gauge sheet metal, uh, drew it out on Inkscape, cut it out with the arc droid. Um, I have to adjust my drawing. There's a, the uh, mouth of the jar is a little bit wider than what I cut out, so that was a mistake, but easy to fix. With a carbide burr, I opened it up a little bit and uh, seems to work good. So the only thing left now is to go stick it on the Stick it on the fence to see if squirrels will eat out of it, which I'm sure they will. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this or got anything out of it, I appreciate it if you like and subscribe. And uh, just a reminder, I opened up the store if you want to support the channel. You can uh, follow the link in the description. So thanks again.